Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Andy Plays Dust, an Elysian Tale. So, um, last time I had a short episode because I was almost at the flag. So, I cut it short because I didn't know what would be beyond the flag. Um... But I think it may be a boss battle. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, uh, that is actually my new tactic. Just to spam digit. I've gone the wrong way! My god! I'm so bad at navigation in this game. Okay, so... I've just gotta keep on going. Hopefully, I don't get lost this time. Um, so let's go down and see what's down here. Oh, it's one of these again. Oh no! Got a fight with bubble sprouts here. Oh my god, there's two of them. Okay, so hopefully I can do this. And yeah. That's that done. Oh, and he's run away again. And there he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Gus. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. Okay, so let's get away from these bubble sprouts, definitely. And, oh, I got a gamer picture. Awesome. And, wow, there's an... This was not what I was expecting. There's an underwater... Underwater? Underground... Village. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. So, let's find out what's going on inside this... There village... Is. Town. Done good to have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Oh. What would I do if you've gotten yourself hurt? Ah, Mama, look! The thing must have followed me. How'd they jump up in? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. So they think we're monsters. Why, right? I'll be sure to tell her, <laughs> Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Okay, so... Back! Back, you beast! I got this here spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! <laughs> we aren't here for trouble, uh, ma'am. In fact, I've got a spoon. That has to be the best quote that I've... Um, that has to be the best quote that I've heard from this game so far. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you! <laughs> Of course you're from the surf. <laughs> I think I'd remember seeing 
seeing a talking, flying, weasel cat thing down here? I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Hmm. Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing uh -huh. all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Please go I'm away. Just, we're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo. You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon <laughs> again. Mama, I've seen them fight. They even got themselves a talking sword. I bet they could help. Wow. Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls <laughs> of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help. Oh. Stop saying that. Pa's gonna die if we don't do something. Die? Oh dear. What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it. Okay, so pots lying around. Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago, they dried Ah, so all the water's drying up down here as well. I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too. Mama. Oh, I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I don't see how they could. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, hmm. and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. Okay. In case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why so... she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Why do you assume she's evil? Maybe she's just being attacked. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. <laughs> okay. That's the best quote I've heard from this game so far. We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. my word. Okay, so that's the end of this episode. Join me next time where I will be on a quest to find the lady. Whoever that may be.